Hey guys, welcome back to 5 nothing 100 nothingcom I am Fuck It! And that stands for the fattest underdog guru using intelligent tactics. Now, I know that's a joke. You know I usually use fittest, but this is a hard video to make. But I need the public accountability. And um, I know I'll look back at this and say, you little fat boy, right? Now, here's my story, okay? Since July, okay, sometime around second week towards the end of July, right? To current date, okay? Which is mid-November, okay? So we're talking August, September, all of October, and approximately a few days on in July or weeks, per, maybe, and then November, so about four months, okay? I was blown away, <clears throat> but I have gained 18 pounds. And I wasn't uh, lifting heavy, um, going for bulk, or any of that stuff, okay? Now, I can point to all kinds of reasons, um, but it's not excuses, right? So I'm just gonna, you know, this is a real good testament to the idea of creeping obesity or um, whenever you, um, you know, you just kind of, you know, you're noticing a little bit how your clothes are a little tighter. Um, you missed a few days in the gym. Um, you're working on other things, uh, family or other priorities get in the way. And all of a sudden you're off the track. Okay. Now for me, um, one of the things has been a positive thing and it was uh, getting into a really good relationship. And sometimes when you get into a new relationship, you start to eat, okay? You socialize more, you go out and party a little bit, you go out and eat more. And it was about that time that I was on a really good rigid key, uh, keto diet again and was lean and mean. And I actually looked back to pictures from uh, July and August and I saw how I looked in those pictures and I was a lot leaner. I went, ooh, that's what, caused me to kind of, you know, pay close attention because I had not got on a scale. And I know why now, because I knew that I was gaining weight, but I was always going to start the next day to really tighten things up, right? Um, I was going to just, you know, oh, just like moderate portions and still eat what I want. And, you know, that doesn't always work for everybody. Like some people can follow like a Weight Watchers um, or just have like one piece of bread or have, you know, this little thing, that little, but it doesn't work for me. And the last four months is perfect proof of that. Okay. So, um, again, I'm not blaming, you know, like my girlfriend, I'm not blaming, um, anybody but myself because the thing is, is you have the power when you take full ownership of your decisions, right? So I know what I need to do. And, you know, like today, um, when I realized the weight gain and everything, I made sure I got a really good workout in and I've taken a step back where I'm adding more mobility work to like open up my hips, my joints, because my joints are like really jacked right now. I've got a lot of inflammation and I know it's related to having, um, you know, more sim simple carbohydrates or uh, refined carbs. So, you know, cutting that back now, um, I went grocery shopping and made sure that I bought the right foods, more omega-3s um, or just general EFAs, essential fatty acids. Um, and I'm gonna eliminate a lot of the things that I know uh, were causing, you know, this creeping obesity to happen. So, you know, with Thanksgiving around the corner and Christmas, those will be two days where I'll be mindful, but also enjoy myself. But the rest of the days, it's gonna be serious game on. So, you know, you think about it, some people like to be on the scale all the time because it keeps them accountable. And they notice like, you know, the red flags go up when they're up three, four, five, six pounds, and then they can like rein it back in. So <clears throat> it's gonna be me um, actually um, holding myself accountable and, and perhaps using this channel to do that as well. And, you know, doing um, a weigh-in um, once a week or more 
and also tracking what I'm doing, you know, just like I would do for clients. And if I'm unsuccessful in that, then I'm definitely going to take the step to have accountability partners, perhaps a trainer and somebody to keep me in check. So I know I can do it. I've done it before. Um, but, you know, if for some reason um, it's going to be a challenge at this time, I'm not accepting mediocrity and um, slipping like this. You know, as you get older, it gets a lot harder to lose the weight and to find the energy to push yourself. So I'm hoping that as I make these changes and get the regular pattern and habit of doing something every day physical, not skipping any days, no matter what it, no matter what it takes, then I'm going to do that. So just thought I'd share that little story with you guys. It is embarrassing to, to, to look and admit that I've gained 18 pounds. So I can see it. A lot of people, um, you know, I think it's because of my work clothes that they're very flattering and hide things, but <clears throat> not this cowboy. We're going to reverse the curse, baby curse I put on myself. So I'm happy camper. Life is good, but this life's going to be better when I'm trimmed up again and uh, putting on some lean muscle, losing that body fat that I've recently gained. So we're going to end the year strong. New Year's revolution. We're charging in and through. All right, guys, like, share, subscribe. I'll talk to you again soon. If you're on your plan, get on it. If you're uh, hitting the rock bottom, so to speak, like me, get on it. I'll talk to you soon.